guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here to give you a video about a vanilla for everyone. Well, as you may have guessed, tis the season. The cooler it gets, the more everybody wants to wear a little vanilla, because it smells delicious. Now, I want to disclaim this before I go into this. I'm not going to be talking about every vanilla that I own. That would be ridiculous. If this has already been on a list in the last, let's call it week or week and a half, I'm not gonna add it because I feel like that's just so redundant. And if it's going to be on a list in the next week and a half or two weeks, I'm not gonna add it. So just to get this completely out of the way, the ones I'm not including that we talked about that are obviously very vanillic are going to be Zephyr Oud Vani by Alexander J. Um, Vanilla Musk Nights by Jesus Del Pozo, Afna 9 p.m. There are some more, but just assume if you've already seen it in the last week and a half, I'm not gonna add it, cause that would be ridiculous. Let's get this show on the road. So first I'm gonna talk about something that I've already talked about. I wanna get it out of the way. I know if I don't talk about it, it's gonna be very silly. I talked about it kind of recently, but since it was more than two weeks, I'm just gonna mention it very briefly. And it's going to be Parfums de Marley Layton. We all already know about it. It's apple, it's cardamom, it's vanilla, it's good. To me, the only drawback to this one is I obviously have a new bottle and the performance isn't great, but this is a vanilla for someone who wants something that's a people pleaser, has a little bit of spice to it, that cardamom, it's warm. Honestly, it's really good. No one's gonna dislike it. It's very unisex to my nose. That's who this is for, and it's just a very versatile fragrance, honestly. I think you could wear it year round. I maybe wouldn't wear it in the dead heat of summer, but I have, and I liked it. So it's not like it's that big of a deal. Keep in mind, I don't live in a humid climate at all. Um, but yeah, if you're just looking for one fragrance for everything, this is super easy. It's just a really dumb reach for me. Next. The next one is for someone who's looking for something that is affordable, but really good, and honestly, for the price, performs really well. Just a nice, in my opinion, evening scent, and that's going to be Armoff Craze. Now, if you guys don't know about this, which I feel like everyone does by now, it is a clone of Parfums de Marley Pegasus. I can't attest to the similarity, but I can attest that this is a compliment getter for me. The vanilla is really good. It's basically vanilla and almond, and I dare you to find someone who dislikes it. Again, another people pleaser on a budget. I got it under $20. I think the most you're going to pay is about $30. It's a really good fragrance. Now, it is a little harsh in the opening, but in the air, it's really good. If you've used our moss before, sometimes they are gonna be harsh in the opening, and sometimes if you spray them on skin and smell that skin directly, that's a little more abrasive than some people would like. But it's pretty good. I mean, it's a compliment getter, and for 20 bucks, getting compliments and good performance. Where is your complaint? If you're looking for a nice, Fairly sweet, but not overly sweet evening scent. This is your one. And when I say it's not overly sweet, I feel like that's saying something because I do not like things that are too sweet. I will wear them sometimes. Don't get me wrong. If it gets compliments, I'm wearing it. You guys already know that. But they're not going to be at the top of my favorites list. So yeah, I mean, honestly, if you're looking for something, this is perfect for fall and winter. If you don't have it, you might as well. I talk about this one a lot, and I'm probably never going to stop talking about it, and I feel like I've hyped it to the max. But that's thanks to Joy Amin. Shout out to him for turning me on to this joint. It's so good. It is the clone of Valentino V, and it is Rasasi Darij. If you want a vanilla that is unique other than Valentino V, which is like, I don't know how many hundreds of dollars now, because it's so discontinued, so discontinued. This is it. It's spicy. If you don't like the note of cumin, which I don't get any BO out of this because they said that about this and Tasmine. I did in Tasmine, <laughs> but I don't at all on this one. This one is so good. It's cardamom and vanilla and it's got that cumin note, which I guess just 
is so balanced out by the rest of the notes in here. Guys, this is just a really good one. And for the price, you're getting performance. I honestly would pay a lot more for this. Like, I'm never going to not have a bottle of Dereige in my collection. I still need to pick up the Pour Femme. But the Pour Homme to me is insanely unisex. I've actually put on put people at work onto this uh, and I've had men at my job buy it for their wives because they liked it so much and again for like 25 bucks why not it's so good guys it's it's so good like for me this is probably one of the most perfect fall fragrances <sighs> once you smell it I feel like it's really hard to get enough of it it's so addicting to me so for that reason if you want to be a little bit different but just smells so good Rosasi Dirige Pour Homme. I know that I said I was gonna put stuff on here that you weren't gonna see in the next uh, coming weeks. I don't know if this is gonna be in the upcoming weeks. I don't care. This is gonna be one of my favorite fragrances of all time, so I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna take this out first. If you're looking for something that just has everything good in it, you need Spice Mom Extreme. And it is a compliment getter, and it's so good. I mean, this is one of the ones that got me into the game. I like it so much. It's spicy. If you want a really spicy vanilla, you just want something that's going to make you stand out. Like, this one gets me noticed. And I mean, it really gets me noticed. It's so good. I can't get enough of it. Like, it's already been hyped up by everybody. The hype is real on this one. I hate a hype beast. I've smelled this before I, like, watch any videos on it. Actually, I smelled this before I even, like, knew anything about the frig frig com on youtube so it's really good i think it's silly if you haven't smelled it go to a mall or go to where you can find it in your town and just smell it it's insanely good i obviously paid well not retail uh i got it from macy's they do 15 percent off like twice a year they're actually doing it right now by the way just to throw that out there of uh, their fragrances and I got the 15% off on this because I just had to have it because it was too, too, too good. And this is one I'm gonna have in my collection forever. I don't care when it gets reformulated. I'm sure it will, everything does. I will keep buying it. This smells so good. I have to have it forever. Next. So I've talked about this on this channel a lot. Maybe not a lot, but definitely a few times. And if you don't know anything about it, which most people probably don't, you can watch my review on it. This is one for someone who doesn't want anything too sweet and is a big fan of like dark, patchouli heavy fragrances. This is just a really mysterious fragrance and a very disgusting and ugly bottle. But if you want it, you need to get it soon because I don't think that this is gonna be around for too much longer and I'll tell you why in a second. And it's gonna be Scent Story 24 Go Dark. And this bottle, I don't know what they coated it in, but it's insanely sticky and so disgusting. It's just covered in lint. There's no way to clean it. I've tried everything. Um, but yeah, the bottle's insanely ugly, but the juice is really good. It's so dark. So, so dark. I like that. I mean, I think honestly for fall and winter, you're golden with this thing right here. Um, but I did see on Instagram that Sense Story said they're not renewing their contract with the uh, 24 series. So I do think what's out now is potentially what's going to be out. I just thought I'd bring that up. I feel like maybe if you haven't purchased the things that you want to from this collection, it's probably the time to do it. Next. So this last one I've also already talked about as all of the ones prior. Uh, so I'm going to knock this one out before we get into the three that I haven't talked about yet. And it's going to be Dapper or Dapper's version of Trish McVoy Blackberry and Vanilla Musk. This is one for someone who just wants something a little fruity, a little vanillic, a little musky, I mean, obviously. It's really good, and the longer I've had it, the stronger it's gotten, and it just smells really pretty. And I like it. I think anyone can wear it. Obviously, I don't know, in Fratcom, sometimes the labels on stuff, the, you know, male, female, are very silly, because some of the male fragrances are not very masculine and some female fragrances are a lot darker than you know you would guess so to me i feel like there's no point in putting labels let people smell it if they like it on their skin because 
Guys, it makes a huge difference. You gotta try stuff on skin. If they like it and it works on their skin, just get it, who cares? But I have a huge theory about that in terms of, I feel like sometimes when they put things in the women's section, they charge a premium and I feel like that's, just look at the price differences, retail, I'm not gonna get too into it because it gets me very worked up. I think it's a very silly thing to do and it's not very fair. Next. Okay, so I bought this one probably a month ago and I haven't done the review yet, but it is coming. It's not a new fragrance. It was on sale at fragrancebot.ca and I thought, hey, why not? And it's going to be from Etat Libre du Orange Bisou Romantique. And this is, I think, the first 30ml bottle of anything that I've purchased. Um, because for the first time, I did the math, and per ml, it was actually like a couple dollars cheaper than the big bottle. And I was like, oh, well then never mind. <laughs> I'm not never going to go through more than this anyways. But this is for someone who just wants a powdery vanilla. I know some people are all about that. Yeah, I just get a ton of powder and vanilla, and if you're looking for something like that, and it actually performs very well for, for those notes, uh, the sillage I get from this one is really strong. And it does get compliments. I will do a full review on it. I don't want to get too into depth, because otherwise, I mean, there would be no reason for anyone to watch the review. Um, but it is a really nice one. I think it's a really good fall and spring fragrance. I think it's a very good transitional fragrance. So if you're looking for a powdery vanilla, this might be it for you. Uh, also, the price on it for this brand specifically, like Niche on Fragrance but at CA, is really good. I think I got it for around the $25, $30 mark for 30 ml. So keep that in mind. Next. Okay, I will be doing the review on this one and the next one soon. I'm not going to talk too much about them. I will tell you that I've gotten compliments on this one and I like it a lot. And it's going to be Mancera's Cedra Boise. So you guys already know it's supposed to be an Aventus clone, but I just get that nice citrus with vanilla and it's so good and people love it. Oh, and I really love it. Um, so this one I got a really good deal on at Fragrance by Dessie. Again, you know, I, I usually use them for most of my stuff just because I get a really good deal as long as I buy in bulk. Well, well, five fragrances at a time specifically because I get the free shipping. But this juice is really good and I honestly feel like it was worth a lot more than I paid for it. I'm going to do a lot more testing and, you know, give you a full video. I don't like to kind of go in with just half the story, but... It's really good, guys. It's really, really good. Um, I think most of you guys already have it. Actually, a lot of you guys told me I should get it, and that's why I got it. But you guys were totally spot on. I'm glad I got it, and I'm not going to talk too much about it. Next. Okay, so this one I saved for last because it's currently one of my favorite fragrances of all times. I'm looking for a backup bottle of it. If you guys watch this and buy the last bottles of it, I'm going to be super upset, but I won't know who did it, so it is what it is. And it's going to be Mandarina Duck Black Extreme with that gold cap and the little gold atomizer. Guys, this is so good. This is so good. It gets con compared to Chanel Allure Homme Sport Edition Blanche. And I can see that. I don't own that one, but I have smelled it. This is like an orange note though. Oh, it's so good. It gets me so many compliments and I've only worn it like a few times, but even if it didn't get me compliments, I don't care. It smells so good. This is one that you spray on yourself and you can't stop smelling it. It's sweet, but in the best way. Oh man, if you get a chance to buy it, f first send me the link because I'm gonna want that. And then buy one bottle for yourself because this is stupid good. I think it's the dumbest thing that they discontinued it. I feel like, I don't know why they feel like they have to discontinue everything good, but man is that getting annoying. So this is kind of my favorite one lately. I love it a lot. Um, but I am looking for one, maybe two backup bottles, honestly. I really hope they restock soon because I cannot have this. Like, I waited so long to, you know, 
get it. I wasn't really thinking I was even going to like it when I bought it. I was like, I'll just have it, you know, because it's discontinued and I keep regretting it every time something gets discontinued and I don't buy it. But now I feel like I should have bought it earlier so then I would have known to buy a backup bottle. But here we are. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.